Rob Seco, Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. Todd, we've talked a lot about a number of different products this spring that are designed to help establish early plant health, early plant vigor mm -hmm. and growth. So now that we're reaching about chest high, we're in that V13 range, you know, tell us about what should we be looking for? We can't measure yield yet, so what should we be looking for in these plants? And so we're right on the verge of this crop, or we're on the verge of this crop going through its massive growth stage, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's take, gonna take up over the next three weeks more water, more nutrient, than it will the entire balance of the season. Mm -hmm. Up to the point of it might need eight, nine, 10, 11 here. This crop has potential going 300 bushel. So it might be needing 10, 11 pounds of nitrogen per acre per day. So you can really see differential of health mm -hmm. and overall robustness of plants this time of year. Yeah, so I mean, th these plants are growing really, really quickly. And mm -hmm. you know, we've, we've added a number of different treatments across this entire research farm you know, from basically a set of biologicals that will help break down uh, the residue on top, release those nutrients earlier, as well as some uh, bacteria and other microbes that will help make nutrients available to the plants. So what are you seeing? What should we look for? So we're looking at, example here, we have a treatment versus an untreatment, and we have a difference in the root system. And there's also a difference in the, in the height, overall height of these plants. Oh, so if you can see those. That's pretty significant. It is. I mean, yeah, so, so this one's... Foot. You know, this one's shoulder high on me, of course, head high on you, right? <laughs> and, and this one has significant growth over the top of it, you know, by 10 or 11 inches. Mm -hmm. Crazy thing about this, if these were side by side, this one's smaller and more diminutive and farther behind. When these two come to yield, this one will be taller. Mm -hmm. And its ear placement will be higher because it has to catch up and has to compete for that sunlight. So number one, we're seeing overall growth. And crazy, they're in the same growth stage. Mm -hmm. right? And then you have the root systems themselves. One's so, a little bit more shallow. Mm -hmm. One has more network of roots up on the top. Doesn't have quite the penetration as the penetration does show on the treated side. So, you know, you've got a more robust root system. So basically, it's, it's got more pizza on the buffet. Yeah. So, so the plant has more nutritive opportunity. So what, what we're thinking is happening there is that the untreated entry of that hybrid, you know, its, its root system wasn't penetrating as deeply as the treated version. So the one that had that assistance from the microbes to mm -hmm. help it bring up more nutrients, grow more robustly, and penetrate deeper into the soil mm -hmm. with its roots was able to reach down to water that was more deeply uh, situated than that of what the untreated was able to reach. Exactly, and not just water, remember nutrients, because especially when you think about nitrogen and sulfur in particular, they both move down as, as water moves down the soil, and mm -hmm. it could be below the root system itself, so it could be positionally unavailable. So the deeper you can get those roots to penetrate, mm -hmm. the better off we, we will be. Absolutely. So these are really cool observations and we're really excited to take a look later on in the season to see what we can see as we get closer to flowering and eventually to yield time. Yeah, We have a lot of cool things that, that we haven't talked about early in the season with particularly our planter box treatment, Tune Up Plus. And we were talking about the early season advantages of what zinc does, cell division and, and chlorophyll and photosynthesis, and then the M-troph bacteria, and then also the trichoderma. But now there are other products and other components of that material that are starting to have an effect now, particularly nitrogen fixing bacteria, mm -hmm. which are known as, as, as azospirillums or azobacters. And what they do is they're able to take N2 gas Mm -hmm. from the soil, the porousness of the soil, or from the atmosphere, and convert it into ammonia. Mm -hmm. And then from ammonia, it'll go to ammonium, ammonium to nitrate, feed the plant. Feed the plant, feed the ear. Absolutely, very cool. As we're probably not quite to second base yet here with this crop, but as we hit second base and start turning to third, we'll need that, we'll need that additional nitrogen opportunity as we go down the road. Exactly.